Hello students, in this lesson we will talk about rootkit which is most dangerous attack. What is rootkit? How hacker use this to perform cyber attack? First we should know, what is rootkit? The term rootkit is a combination of the word which is root and kit. Root, admin and super user. Or system admin are all interchangeable terms for a user account with the admin status of an operating system. Meanwhile, kit means a package of software tools. So, a rootkit is a set of tools that gives someone the highest privileges in a system. Rootkits are particularly dangerous because they are designed to hide their presence on your device. A threat actor who has gotten a rootkit onto your machine, often via phishing email, can remotely access and control it. Because they enable root level access. Rootkits can be used to do things like deactivate your antivirus software, spy on your activity, steal sensitive data, or execute other malware on the device. Hackers install rootkits on target machines in a number of ways. The most common is through phishing or another type of social engineering attack. Victims unknowingly download and install malware that hides within other processes running on their machines and give the hackers control of almost all aspects of the operating system. Another way is through exploiting a vulnerability, that is a weakness in software or an operating system that has not been updated, and forcing the rootkit onto the computer. Malware can also be bundled with other files, such as infected PDFs, pirated media, or apps obtained from suspicious third-party stores. Rootkits can hide keyloggers which capture your keystrokes without your consent. This makes it easy for cybercriminals to steal your personal information, such as credit card or online banking details. Rootkits can allow hackers to use your computer to launch distributed denial-of-service attacks or send out spam emails. They can even disable or remove security software. There are some types of rootkits, like Hardware or firmware rootkit. Hardware or firmware rootkits can affect your hard drive, your router, or your system's BIOS, which is the software installed on a small memory chip in your computer's motherboard. Instead of targeting your operating system, they target the firmware of your device to install malware which is difficult to detect. Because they affect hardware, they allow hackers to log your keystrokes as well as monitor online activity although less common than other types. Hardware or firmware rootkits are a severe threat to online safety. Bootloader rootkit. The bootloader mechanism is responsible for loading the operating system on a computer. Bootloader rootkits attack this system, replacing your computer's legitimate bootloader with a hacked one. This activates the rootkit even before your computer's operating system is fully loaded. Memory rootkit. Memory rootkits hide in your computer's random access memory, RAM, and use your computer's resources to carry out malicious activities in the background. Memory rootkits affect your computer's RAM performance because they only live in your computer's RAM and don't inject permanent code. Memory rootkits disappear as soon as you reboot the system, though sometimes further work is needed to get rid of them. Their short lifespan means they tend not to be perceived as a significant threat. Application Rootkit Application rootkits replace standard files in your computer with rootkit files and may even change the way standard applications work. These rootkits infect programs like Microsoft Office, Notepad, or Paint. Attackers can obtain access to your computer every time you run those programs because the infected programs still run normally. Rootkit detection is difficult for users, but antivirus programs can detect them since they both operate on the application layer. Kernel mode rootkits. Kernel mode rootkits are among the most severe types of this threat as they target the very core of your operating system, that is the kernel level. Hackers use them not only to access the files on your computer but also to change the functionality of your operating system by adding their own code. Virtual Rootkits A virtual rootkit loads itself underneath the computer's operating system. 
It then hosts the target operating systems as a virtual machine, which allows it to intercept hardware calls made by the original operating system. This type of rootkit does not have to modify the kernel to subvert the operating system and can be very difficult to detect. Some of rootkit examples are Stuxnet. One of the most notorious rootkits in history is Stuxnet, a malicious computer worm discovered in 2010 and believed to have been in development since 2005. Flame. In 2012, cybersecurity experts discovered Flame, a rootkit primarily used for cyber espionage in the Middle East. Flame, also known as Flamer, and Skywiper, affects a computer's entire operating system, giving it the ability to monitor traffic, capture screenshots and audio, and log keystrokes from the device. The hackers behind Flame were not found, but research suggests they used 80 servers across three continents to access infected computers. Nickers In 2012, Nickers emerged as a rootkit and was reportedly detected in 83,000 infections that year. Associated with elite cybercriminals in Eastern Europe, Nickers is considered to stand out due to its technical complexity and ability to evolve. Zero Access Zero Access In 2011, cybersecurity experts discovered Zero Access, a kernel mode rootkit that infected more than 2 million computers around the world. Rather than directly affecting the functionality of the infected computer, this rootkit downloads and installs malware on the infected machine and makes it part of a worldwide botnet used by hackers to carry out cyber attacks. Zero Access is in active use today. TDSS In 2008, the TDSS rootkit was detected for the first time. This is similar to bootloader rootkits because it loads and runs at the operating system's early stages, making detection and removal a challenge. How to detect rootkits Detecting the presence of a rootkit on a computer can be difficult as this kind of malware is explicitly designed to stay hidden. Rootkits can also disable security software, which makes the task even harder. As a result, rootkit malware could remain on your computer for a long time causing significant damage. Possible signs of rootkit malware include a large volume of Windows error messages or blue screens with white text, sometimes called the blue screen of death, while your computer constantly needs to reboot. This might include unrecognized bookmarks or link redirection. Your device may take a while to start and perform slowly or freeze often. It might also fail to respond to input from the mouse or keyboard. Windows settings change without permission. Web pages or network activities appear intermittent or don't function properly because of excessive network traffic. A rootkit scan is the best way to detect a rootkit infection, which your antivirus solution can initiate. If you suspect a rootkit virus, one way to detect the infection is to power down the computer and execute the scan from a known clean system. Behavioral analysis is another method of rootkit detection. This means that instead of looking for the rootkit, you look for rootkit-like behaviors. Whereas targeted scans work well if you know the system is behaving oddly, a behavioral analysis may alert you to a rootkit before you realize you are under attack. For Prevent Rootkits Ongoing software updates are essential for staying safe and preventing hackers from infecting you with malware. Keep all programs and your operating system up to date to avoid rootkit attacks that take advantage of vulnerabilities. Phishing is a type of social engineering attack where scammers use email to trick users into providing them with their financial information or downloading malicious software, such as rootkits. To prevent rootkits from infiltrating your computer, avoid opening suspicious emails especially if the sender is unfamiliar to you. If you are unsure if a link is trustworthy, don't click on it. Be careful when opening attachments and avoid opening attachments from people you don't know to prevent rootkit from being installed on your computer. 
Download software from reputable sites only. Don't ignore your web browser's warnings when it tells you a website you are trying to visit is unsafe. Behavioral issues could indicate that a root kit is in operation. Stay alert to any unexpected changes and try to find out why these are happening.